Newsrooms can be hectic places, but even in the chaos, the newsmaking process is surprisingly efficient. Every minute of every day, an endless stream of content is pushed to our screens in an assembly line-like workflow that moves stories from reporters to editors to us. In fact, the modern newsroom workflow is so methodical that we organized Superdesk, our award-winning open-source newsroom management software, to function in much the same way. I'm Greg from SourceFabric, and today I want to take you on a tour of the Superdesk digital newsroom. Built by journalists for journalists, Superdesk is used by newsrooms and other information producers around the world to manage every step in their content planning, production, distribution, and archival process. Because Superdesk is a web application, there's nothing to download or install. All you need to enter is an internet connection, which makes it especially useful for remote work and distributed teams. As we arrive in the Superdesk newsroom, our first stop is your personal workspace. Think of this as your desk in a physical newsroom. This is where you can store content, track your publishing history, and arrange things just the way you like them. But here, instead of plants and photos of your family, it's widgets and templates. Once you've settled in with your coffee, now it's time to dig into the day's content. For an overview of the newsroom's current activity, navigate to the monitoring view for a specific desk, such as news, politics, or sports. This is where you can peer over the shoulders of everyone working in the newsroom to see what they're up to, much like the editor's conference table in the middle of a physical newsroom, minus the furniture. This organizational concept can also be applied to non-traditional news producers, like research centers and corporate communication departments. Any business with lots of content to share, either publicly, internally, or for specific clients, can benefit from the streamlined efficiency of Superdesk. As we continue on our tour of the Superdesk newsroom, let's assume we're editors on the news desk and that we need to see what shape the day's planned content is in. We can do this in the stages window, which represents the sequence of steps that a piece of content needs to pass through before it's published. For instance, content in the newsroom's working stage is content created by a user, such as a reporter or an editor. Content in this stage is labeled in progress. Once the content is finalized, the creator moves it to the for approval stage for editing. Then, when it's published, it automatically moves to the desk output stage and is tagged as published. In our setup, we also have one additional stage, the incoming stage. This is content that has been ingested from an external source, such as a freelancer or a wire service. Superdesk can be configured to ingest content from just about anywhere, such as an RSS feed, emails, even a social media account that you follow. Using the toggles at the top, here, and the hamburger filter, you can also sort the content in each stage in a variety of ways, such as by content, date of creation, name, and in the search bar, by specific author. And there you have it, the last stop on our virtual tour. In our next video, I'll walk you through creating, editing, and publishing a piece of content in Superdesk. Until then, I'm Greg from SourceFabric. Thanks for visiting the Superdesk Digital Newsroom.